Hello, hello. We are here uh, in southern Tenerife, in uh, the southwestern corner, and here we have a deposit from the Caldera del Rey. This was a Mar-type volcano. It's a double Mar, actually, and it erupted freeado magmatically. But uh, as opposed to most other kind of Mars we have here in the Canaries, which are basaltic, this one here is phonolitic. So, and typical for freeado magmatism, it throws out these large blocks, and uh, they're very angular, so they're ripped to uh, shreds here, and you see some of these uh black blocks here this is all the basaltic material that got caught up in the eruption and uh, typically for freado magmatic eruptions there's also this kind of wobbliness of the deposits implying that everything was wet at the time and uh, that uh, things were sagging or sinking into the wet substrate so here we have a few more of these larger uh, blocks here and some of the units are quite blocky but there's also pumice in there and uh, light creamy colored material that is phonolytic pumice so this is the juvenile component of the eruption you can just about see it here so what's also uh, typical is these finely laminated ash beds you get them here and um, they um, indicate that there was quite some explosive energy at play certainly at times during the eruption and uh, if we go on a little bit there's some rather nice bomb sacks and i'll try to find you one just now so i think here's one here we see that uh, this uh, basaltic fragment was impacting on the wet substrate uh, on this finely laminated um, ash horizon and uh, on this tooth and it was sinking in and looking at the deformation of the bomb one almost gets the impression that it came this way so uh, but of course you need to look at these uh, in 3d and you need to look at more than one in order to uh, come up with a good uh, stratigraphy or a good concept of uh, how these things were deposited and how they migrated here so let's step a little bit further here we have another small bomb sack and oh, having said this this almost looks the same it looks almost as if it's coming from left to right here impacting this way so we do get a sense that uh, caldera del rey was indeed uh, uh, located somewhere to the left of this position and actually that's correct so uh, from that point of view this would be very consistent with the geographical uh, situation that we're facing here so I'll run you along this deposit a little longer. So alternating coarse and fine layers, alternating pumice rich and block rich layers. Here's one of these pumice rich layers, the cream colored materials of the pumices. And here we have the blocky material that is quite enriched in foreign uh, material in uh, pre-existing blocks. Here we have a larger block. And I'll move along here. So this clearly indicates a pulsing nature of the um, uh, sequence of eruptions coming from Caldera del Rey. And the Caldera del Rey deposits are widespread over much of southern Tenerife. And uh, I think this hopefully gave you a good impression. So we'll see here beyond there is more of this. But uh, I think uh, the outcrops getting a little thin. They are coming back again after the houses. But I think we'll leave it for now. I trust you've got a sense of what I want to show. Thank you very much for joining and uh, all the very best.